All right, here's down to the guts of what you have to do to get FTP working on mountain lion. Quick research led to the command up above. We're gonna use the launch control with the SuperDo command. Again, use at your own risk. We're just gonna show you right now it ain't working. The command I found on the internet right here, at some point in time, Apple have changed the way things work, but this might work for some people on, say, a regular line. I'm not really sure, but this is what happens. It comes up and says, nothing found to load. So I did a quick Google of that, and I learned about the uh, disable the change. There's a disable key, and if you use the dash capital F now, your commands are case sensitive. It'll ignore the disable key. You can actually use the file locations up above to go in and edit these files directly and disable. And I read that, that would be a, a, if you wanted to permanently enable FTP and take your chances and you're aware of the risk, that would be the way you'd want to do this. But for now, after you restart, this preference will go back to being disabled. So if you notice I load with a dash F, it goes through and doesn't tell me nothing to load this time. And we're going to go ahead and test. This is the view of the remote directory, and this is the local directory. Again, they're the same, but you can see that I successfully connected. And then this command, actually, it's funny. You don't actually have to use the force F to uh, unload it. Say you don't want to restart. You want to make sure it's already terminated and not running anymore after you've finished what you've done. So we'll go ahead and use it without the F and then test it. As you can see, the connection refuses. It's back to the state of being disabled. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. This is Crazy Brian saying bye.